Hey folks, welcome to module two, where we're going to be personalizing Moodle. So in this module, we are actually going to dive in directly into Moodle, and we're going to take a look at a couple different things that you as a student can personalize. And that includes the dashboard, notifications, chat, profile, grades, and preferences. So let's hop into Moodle and take a look at these options. So when you come into Moodle, uh, you always land on the dashboard page. And this will typically have a couple different things such as your course overview, the latest announcements, and that will be announcements from any of the courses that you're in, and timeline. This will actually have materials pulled or deadlines from the different courses that you're in. Uh, and you're able to change that up. You can have it in the next 30 days, the next three months, sort by dates, sort by courses, and you can also search to see if there's anything, uh, a particular thing that you're looking for. But that pulls from all of your courses. And also on this page, if you want to play around a little bit, uh, you can turn the edit mode on. And now you can play around with what this looks like. So you might change the order of these items. You might also add a block. And the block might be a variety of things, some of the things that might be of interest to you. Um, you can play around, look at them, see if there's there's anything here. You might have maybe some text that will be your own reminders, upcoming events, uh, just a couple different things that, that are there for you to use. Uh, you can also over on the right here, open up the block drawer and notice you have a calendar here. Uh, if you want the calendar more in the center, you can always click, drag and drop that into the center. You can also see there are uh, what other users are online. So those are the customizing elements of this dashboard. You can think of this as the home page of Moodle for you. But we want to explore a couple other features that are up here in the right hand corner. The first is this little bell or your notifications menu. If you click on it, what you will end up seeing is different notica notifications from across your courses. So if there's been announcements, if things have been updated, things are due, etc., you can see all of these here. And what will typically happen is when you once you start to have a couple announcements, this little uh, bell will also have a number and that number is will typically tell you how many notifications are there. If you end up with a bunch of notifications and like you've seen them and you just want to clear them out, you can always select the little check mark here and mark them all as red. You can also change where you get notifications by selecting the notifications preferences. Once you do this, you come to this page and you have options for the different ways to get notifications within Moodle. So uh, if I want assignment notifications, anything relating to assignments, the default right now is email. I might want to change that to mobile. Um, I may want to change that to web. What we strongly encourage is that a lot of these that are set to email to probably hold, you know, to probably leave as they are, but you might want to adjust some of these others. Um, you, if you use the web app a lot more, then you might want to change these over to the mobile uh, option. You generally though want to make sure there's messages that you are getting such as uh, feedback notifications and feedback reminders, forum uh, posts, particularly things like the announcements, those come through the forums. You want to make sure you have those on um, and that you will get those email notifications. If you want to add a web notification, you can, or um, sorry, if you want to add a mobile notification, you can. A web notification means that it'll show up here in this little uh, notifications bell. So play around with that and just, you know, make sure you don't set, make sure you don't set up a situation where you're not getting any information because that actually won't be helpful. Uh, you want to make sure you don't miss things. You obviously don't want to be inundated with messages, but you want to try to find that right balance. And so turning off messages, turning off all messages such as disable notifications probably won't be helpful, but thinking about where, which information comes to you in is, is a smart idea. So that's the notifications icon. We also have the message drawer or the chat drawer and you can select that and you will typically have your uh, your starred is always going to be yourself is in there and you can almost use this as a little note section. So I can, this is a chat tool and self note section if useful. 
Uh, you can create groups to chat with. So maybe there's two or three students in uh, peers in your class and you want to uh, start up a chat with them. So you guys are working on a project or something like that. And then also uh, private conversations where you have one or two, like one person, one to one person that you are talking to. So the imaginary chat is pretty simple. I can click and it tells me right here, this is my personal space. I can save messages, drafts, links, um, and whatnot and save this here for me. I can go back. I can also look to uh, add or build my contacts. Now, one thing to know about Moodle is you can only connect or contact people that you are connected with in a course. So if you share another course with, per with a person, you should be able to interact with them. If you don't share that course with that person, then you can't uh, reach out to them. So in this case, I am actually going to look for somebody that I know is in a course with me. I'm going to type in their name. I'll hit enter. And notice it tells me it's a non-contact. So that just means it's not in my address book, similar to like when you go to text somebody and you don't have that. You're just putting in their number. They're not part of your contacts yet. So I'm going to click on the name. And now it will start up a message for me to message this person. So I might say, hey. How are you doing? Hit enter and now it's been sent. So now this person who is offline, as I'm being told, will get that notification. They'll get an email letting them know somebody messaged them and then when they go into the course itself, they can reply. I can also click on the little three dot menu here and find out more information about this person. I can start this conversation. So maybe this is something I want to make sure is quickly available. If for some reason I don't want to talk to this person, there's a problem, I can block the user. Uh, I can mute, so if I mute, that means I won't get notifications when they message me. I can delete the conversation, and then I can add this person to contacts. I'm going to add this person to contacts. Now, what will happen is when I add them to contacts, they will get a message saying, this person wants to add you to their contacts. Do you agree? So there's also a level of privacy or respect here of like, I can't add somebody without their permission. Notice it says your contact request is pending with that person. All right, so that's your messaging tool. It's really helpful when you're in here, especially if you have other people, you can look under private and start to see like your who your conversation, uh, who your friends and, and uh, even in, your instructors are and, and reach out to them as need be. All right. You can also click, uh, select the little settings wheel here and you have a few choices here that you can restrict who can message you. Uh, and so this is what I was talking about, my contacts and anyone in my courses. Notifications, how do you want that, how do you want to be no let it known that you've been re that somebody has contacted you. You can have email or mobile, and in general, use enter to send. That is, when you are typing a message, if you hit enter, does that that will by having this on, it means when you hit enter after a message, it will send it. So pretty simple, uh, really super useful, quick uh, quick to access tool that you will find useful in in connecting with your your colleagues and your instructors. All right, so now let's go up to the little icon in the upper right corner. What you will see here is the initials uh, IS. In this case, it is stands for imaginary student, right? That's my name right there. And this is a fake account, obviously. If it's if you're in Moodle, it will be the initials of your name. Now, th that's great. What we want to do actually is personalize this a little bit. So we're going to look uh, at how to put in a icon or a little photo of ourselves or something that we feel like represents us. Um, and we can do that pretty easily. We will click on it and now we get a new menu. We get profile, grades, calendar, uh, private files, reports, preferences, and log out. Obviously, if you want to log out of Moodle, that is how you can log out. The reports feature and private files feature, we won't cover much. Private files, that allows you to upload stuff to Moodle to use it essentially as a storage space. We don't necessarily recommend to use it as a storage space. That's really what your Google Drive is for, um, but it is an option that is available. But we're gonna start first with profile. Now, when you come into profile, there's a couple different things just to kind of look at. You can see um, a review of browser sessions. That is, you know, your frequency of, of coming into Moodle. You can look at a grades overview and this will pull in uh, grades from the different courses that you're in. So it's a really useful place to see how you're doing across courses. 
Uh, it lets you know when the last time is that you logged on. It tells you which courses that you are uh, that you are a part of. And then some of this material down here, the miscellaneous isn't that it isn't that interesting. Although if you go to forum posts or discussions, you can see all the discussions and posts that all the posts that you have created or all the discussions that you're a part of. We talk about the mobile app in another video, but know that there is a mobile app. You can um, download it and install it on your uh, device and use a QR code here to automatically log in. But what we're interested right now is the user details in this profile. So we're going to go to Edit Profile. And here we're going to do a couple things for our profile just to personalize it, make sure um, as we're using Moodle, folks know who, who we are and possibly what we look like. So under general, we have first name and last name. Um, what we do strongly encourage is after last name to include your, uh, your gender pronouns. So I might include he, him. And so what will happen is anywhere my, my profile name shows up within Moodle, it will also include he, him so that folks under, so it's easy for folks to know um, my gender identity. Not required, but particularly useful. Uh, there's other things I can add in here, and it might be useful, especially as College Inbound now covers uh, in uh, exists in many different areas in the country in the United States. You might want to add what city you are from, and um, possibly even uh, what country. At least, maybe not yet, but. Um, I would imagine soon we will probably want to also clarify what country because that's going to really help us um, uh, just know where people are, especially as it comes to time zones. And so um, that's the other thing to keep in mind is identifying what time zone you are operating in. And this will also help you with deadlines um, in understanding what when something is due in your own timeline. All right, description, you can provide a little bit about yourself if you want, you certainly don't have to. But then we come to user picture, and this is where it's, I would say it's really important to add an image. Uh, if you are comfortable, we encourage you to add an image of yourself. Um, if not, then maybe an image that you feel is representative of you. So to do that, you can always click on this area and then Go to upload a file and browse and find that picture that you have on your computer. Um, you can also drag and drop. So I am going to drag in a photo and put that in there. There we go. And then it's going to ask for a picture description. And so this is really helpful for people that might have uh, visual disabilities to, to understand what the image is. So I might put um, a Persian cat sitting like a human. All right, so that is what my profile pic will become. You'll see it up here when we uh, save this. And then otherwise you can add, you can go in and play with these other pieces if you choose, but really the most important thing I would, the most important things are the pronouns, um, where you are and an image uh, of some sort. So once you have all of those, date and here you are. You're back on that profile page. Now notice that the pronouns are here. I have my profile pic. Uh, everything is as it's supposed to be. This is great. Um, so that's how you can do it. Again, it's really important and valuable to include that information to you know help personalize the space and make it a little bit more uh, interactive, or at least you know have have your peers and your, your instructors know a little bit more about who you are. Back up here under uh, the icon, as I said, you can go to grades. Once you're in grades, you will see all your courses listed and be able to access the grades that, you're, that you have in each of those courses. So really quick and easy to access there. You can also do calendar. And when you do calendar, what you'll start to see is as your instructors are using uh, event, using their courses and setting deadlines and things like that, this will also fill up and let you know what to expect in the coming weeks. Um, so it's really helpful in that regard. And then finally, preferences. If you go to preferences, on this page, you will find the ability to uh, engage with or edit a variety of preferences across Moodle. Um, some of them you will definitely be able to change, others you ne won't necessarily, and some won't have a lot of uh, choices. So if you go to preferred language, the default and standing language is uh, US English. 
If you go to forum preferences, you actually have some choices here. So you could actually get a daily digest of um, of any posts in a given day rather than a get email per uh, per single forum post. You can decide when to auto auto subscribe to posts um, and a couple other options here. So you can always dig in and try to find out a little bit more by clicking on the little question icons and it'll tell you what to expect. Um, but you do have a variety of different preferences that you can play around with uh, as makes sense for you. Don't worry if this looks a little overwhelming. You really don't necessarily have to touch this. And the big ones that we already talked about were the um, preferences that we looked at here for your notifications and the preferences that we looked, like, looked at here for your, uh, for your chat tool. So don't worry about those. Just wanted to let you know this is where you could find them. All right, that is a brief overview of ways to start to personalize Moodle to kind of get it ready or set up in a way that works for you. Uh, I hope this module is helpful. Remember that you don't have to do all of this at once, and the goal is not to necessarily do all of it at once, but to start to think about how you personalize the space, because you're going to be spending time in here throughout your, uh, throughout your education here at College Inbound. We want to make sure that you are set up to make the most use of it, and also to present yourself to others in a way that they can connect with you, they can learn from you, um, and they feel like they, they have a better understanding of who you are. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.